Hello YouTube, Gaming Goddess here with the review on Eternal Sonata, a Japanese role-playing game for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. This game takes place in a fictional dream world dreamt up by a musical composer named Frederick Chopin, who in Mr. fact Chopin was a real person. With my version of the game being on the PlayStation 3, there was an added character as well as costumes. With that being said, let's get into the review. First, let's take a look at the general gameplay. Eternal Sonata offers a variety of playable characters, different areas to explore, interactions with NPCs, shops for buying weapons and other useful items as well as some fairly easy puzzles. When the player takes the time to explore both the towns and the field in the game world, not only can you find items, weapons, and armor, but you can also come across different score pieces. Score pieces can be used to make music with other NPCs. If given a B rank or higher, the player is rewarded with an item. If the player fails, the player gets nothing. This is definitely an interesting feature in the game, and honestly, I quite like it. Now let's take a quick look at the shops. Shops can be located in towns or on the field. Each of the shops will have different items depending on where the player is in the world. Items aren't the only thing available for the player. The player can also buy weapons and armor. The player can equip the different weapons to the party members by accessing the menu screen. With that being said, let's now take a look at the battle system. Eternal Sonata presents us with an action-style, time-based battle system. A timer is placed to the left-hand side of the screen, giving the player only a couple of seconds to make their move when it's the rightful character's turn. The player is able to use up to three characters maximum on the field. The three characters the player chooses can all be controlled by the player or can be controlled by three different players. I actually think this is a cool feature. Yes, it's only multiplayer during a battle, but you can share the battle experience with your friends. When on the field, monsters will freely roam around. By touching the monsters, the fight will start. The player is able to use basic attacks, skills, and items. Since we have a time-based battle system, once the timer starts, the player needs to make sure they know where the enemy is so they can attack efficiently. Each character has his and her own set of light and dark skills. Certain monsters will be weak to certain types of attacks, so it's good to utilize these skills when the player can. As for the items, the player has to set up the item pouch in order to use the items during a battle. This can be done in the game's menu. Once a fight has ended, the player will be rewarded with experience points, items, and gold. As a character levels up, the character can unlock new types of skills. Now not only can the characters gain levels, but as the player progresses through the game, the player's party level will also increase. Each of these party levels have different advantages to them as well as giving the player the ability to perform combo skilled attacks. So then, With the gameplay out of the way, let's now take a look at the game's graphics and audio. Eternal Sonata offers some of the most gorgeous CG graphics and cutscenes I've ever seen in a video game. Yeah, the characters will glitch inside of a monster and whatnot, but I can easily look past that when the game looks this beautiful. Of course, the character's design is also very cute and anime-like, which is always a plus in my book. As for the game's audio, this game features a beautiful soundtrack. Each area and each new part of the story has its own background music, so it never gets real repetitive when playing. Plus, there are always points in the game where the player can perform a music session with the NPCs. As for the voice acting, the game features both English and Japanese voice acting, and frankly, I like both. They sound pretty good, especially the English voices. Now let's look at the pros and cons based on my opinion. First, some pros would include a fantastic story, lots of cutscenes, beautiful music, gorgeous graphics, good general gameplay, and yes, the PS3 version is harder than the Xbox version, so I enjoyed the challenge, lots of playable characters, 
multiplayer is allowed during battles, and of course, the costumes. As for the cons, I honestly can't think of any flaws this game had other than the fact that the final chapter didn't have very much gameplay to it. Now there are tons of video games out there and I've played and reviewed a lot of them, but honestly, Eternal Sonata has been one of the most enjoyable games I've played so far. It definitely felt like an emotional roller coaster. The game was a lot of fun, it made me laugh, and surprisingly, it made me cry, which isn't something I do often when I play video games. The characters are actually enjoyable, Polka has her moments where she's super cute and innocent, but in the end, she's real serious and she knows what she has to do. Of course, not only Polka, but all of the characters grow as the story progresses, and I really like that about this game. The story isn't all over the place, it's real easy to follow, and it's definitely interesting. I really enjoyed the music this game has to offer, it's real classical sounding, and now this might just be coming from the perspective of someone who actually understands all the music references in this game, but I absolutely love the characters' names as well. As for the gameplay, the game's battle system wasn't too complicated to figure out. It really did feel challenging at certain parts in the game. And seriously though, this game is so pretty. I can't stress it enough at how amazing all the different areas look in this game. Now, I have some of my own theories about the game's story and I could talk about it all day, but I will save that for the comment section. Eternal Sonata is definitely worth playing if you haven't already and gets a perfect score of 10 out of 10. If you like this video, feel free to press the like button. Also, leave me some comments, questions, suggestions, and your own theories on Frederick's Dream World. Remember to support me on Patreon for some extra little goodies, and don't forget to subscribe. This has been a Gaming Goddess review, and remember to keep on gaming. excited about tomorrow to fall asleep. And besides, it's way too early to go to bed anyway. Oh well. I guess I'll go out and look at the stars or something. see many stars out in the sky tonight. I guess all the bright lights from the city make it hard to see them. Olga, there you are. I was wondering where you went when I didn't see you in your room. That Hardanda certainly is beautiful at night. Do you think so? Somehow, when I think back on it, I get the feeling it was much more beautiful when I was a little girl. Yes, well, things always seem nicer in our memories. It's still just as beautiful. You'll have bad dreams if you stay up too late. Come on, let's get some sleep. Is Retro?
Is Redondo really the same as it's always been? Really?